do you think the Tokyo Olympic Games can be held safely uh, if we keep this way to defeat the virus? Uh, to be more specific, uh, President Biden said that the decision uh, should follow the science. So what exactly do you think uh, is an important criteria and the data? And one more thing is what kind of the pre preparation uh, should the government of Japan prepare for thinking the risk of holding the, such a big event, huge event? Thank you. Well, you know, the answer to that question is very much uh, in line with what I had mentioned a moment ago and what Mr. Slavitt said about the science. It really is going to depend on the dynamics of the outbreak globally and in Japan. You know, we're faced with the same situation on a much smaller scale in the United States when we are asked, when would it be safe to resume our professional athletic system like Major League Baseball mm -hmm. and football and basketball and things like that? And the response has been really quite consistent. It is going to depend on the dynamics of the outbreak at the time. If it looks like globally, we're seeing a significant downturn in infections, that would make it much more likely that you would have participation much more widely of other countries in the uh, Olympics themselves. The actual decision mm -hmm. of holding it obviously is squarely in Japan's corner. They're going to make that decision. What participation is going to occur is going to depend on the level of the outbreak in different parts of the country and in Japan in particular. You're asking me what Japan can do. Mm -hmm. And that I think is important to, to make sure that to the extent possible that there are put in place the kinds of guidelines to ensure the safety of the people in Japan who are there and the safety of many, many travelers who will come to Japan. And that would be what kind of restrictions? Would you make sure that people wear masks? What kind of testing would be involved? What kind of travel issues would be involved? Anything that the Japanese government can do to guarantee the safety, not only of their own citizens, but also of the people who will be traveling to Japan to participate in or to watch the Olympics. Okay, can I get just one follow-up question? Sure. Yeah. Uh, you said about the vaccination. So as for vaccination, uh, in some European countries, uh, already the, some Olympians are started to be vaccinated. So do you think that vaccination uh, for the Olympians should be kind of prioritized? Well, you know, it depends on what kind of uh, access to vaccines that you have in your own country. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we have a prioritization right now in the United States of because at this stage, although we are planning to get enough vaccine to vaccinate everyone in the country, and we will soon be at that level, we still have a priority of people. Now it's gonna depend upon what Japan wants to do to the prioritization. You'd have to ask yourself, what is the scientific reason to vaccinate the Olympians? If it's gonna be because they're gonna be in an Olympic village together, and you want to make sure that they don't cross infect each other, that is a reasonable uh, rationale for wanting to do that. So I think that's going to be left up to the authorities in Japan. Uh, when, when, when we uh, prioritize testing uh, with our athletic groups, we made it very clear that if they were going to conduct their sports, be it football or basketball or baseball, that they would have a prioritization of getting testing. I think the same thing would probably hold true for vaccination. So although I don't want to be the one to saying you should recommend that all the yeah, yeah, yeah. because I don't make policy for the Japanese Olympics, but I could understand if they do decide to do that, the rationale would be because they are going to be grouped together in the Olympic village. And that's going to be a very difficult situation if someone gets infected, they could spread it very easily to the rest of the athletes.